So I decided to check out some dead content in RuneScape and find out why is it dead. I met this guy in PvP worlds and he said that he found one of the best, if not the best, thieving experience in the game. So I went to the place. I actually had to complete a quest called Death to Dorgashun. I pickpocketed or picklocked one of the chests and I got 650 thieving experience. And there are two chests per world. Now the reason why this wasn't popular back then, because uh, this was released originally in 2007, was because you had to wait, uh, was, was it 40 seconds when you switch a world? And now you don't have to wait. So you can just keep logging in, logging out, and uh, pick lock these chests for over 200,000 experience an hour. Now I'm not sure if this is faster than Pyramid Plunder, because I don't remember the rates for level 91 plus. But I do know from level 8 to 1 you get like 160 or 180,000. So it's very close or, you know, even the same as Pyramid Plunder. However, only 4 people can do this. No more than that. Because there are limited amounts of worlds. So let's say there are 10 people pick locking these chests. And if you quick hop worlds, you will eventually find a chest which was already looted. So that will obviously reduce the XP that you get every single hour. And don't bank. If you do this, don't bank. Just don't. Because the loot, as you can see, is bad. Uh, one of the reasons why I've done this was because I wanted some uncut gems for my solo RuneScape account. And I was trying to find out places where I can get a lot of those. Because cracking saves is not as good. There is also gem place at Ardaugen, but that requires level 75 thieving, so same as this. So I would pick this place. And of course I need gems to make some decent bolts, whether it's diamond or even emerald to poison enemies. And I'm not trying to say that you should go to this place instead of Pyramid Plunder or any other place. I'm just making this video to, I don't know, educate I guess that this place actually exists and um, at some points it could be the best thieving experience in the entire game. Well, not RuneScape 3, but at least old school RuneScape. That's all this video is about. So let's check out the loot, shall we? Uh, this is all. All of it. It seems that every single item has the same drop rate or maybe Red Topaz and Uncut Sapphires have a lower one, but I think I just got unlucky on these ones. So you can see, you're not going to sell frog leather chaps and body to anyone. Same goes for Balsa Lantern. Though, those are debatable. You could sell those, but not in bulk. Then we have some light orbs. I don't know, I haven't even checked the price, but I don't think these are going to be worth anything. Um, got some mining helmets. Looks good, but again, you cannot sell in bulk. Some opal jade. I don't even know what to use these for, but... And gems are the only things that are worth in here so i think that's like half a million worth of of stuff so pretty much for every experience that you get from that chest this is how much money you get in your pocket so 650 goes to 650 gp actually i think you can add this wire to this bulb you must have 87 oh you oh 87 crafting okay so this place is actually quite cool. I recently exchanged my long bones and curved bones uh, for construction experience. If you ever wondered where those bones are used for, this is the place where you exchange them for some awesome experience. I think 1.5 thousand per long bone and 2,000 for curved bone. But you have to check it on RuneScape Wiki because uh, I'm just guessing. But I got a lot of experience. Alright, so that's all. Thank you for watching. And don't go to this place. Because if more than 4 people are lockpicking this. Or picklocking. Then it's bad XP. Okay, bye.